Hello and welcome to this Power BI tutorial with me, James from Matador Software. And today we're looking at how we can calculate working days in Power BI with DAX and the network days function. This has been available in other tools like Excel for some time, but it's handy that it's now available in Power BI because previously you may have had to um, use a DAX piece of code that we would have had to filter certain conditions or have indexed weekdays. This is a lot simpler. We just need to specify a start date, end date, and um, what constitutes a weekend if we want to, um, and holidays where you can just have a single column of holidays in your data model and you can rely on that to filter those out for true working days. Typically a weekend, uh, we would specify one as our parameter where that would just omit Saturday and Sunday. And where we would, we would have a start date, end date, we would omit Saturday and Sunday, but there are other options as you can see here. And then we would omit any holidays, like maybe public holidays. And as you can see here, we have a working example that returns zero working days because it excludes the weekend and the holiday provided over those three days, uh, which would be a correct result. Now for me, when I'm looking to add things like public holidays, if I don't have any company specific ones, um, in the UK, we have a, a government website that would just provide public holidays and I can do that and simply take these into my data model. It's worth noting that Network Days takes a table, so it just needs to be one single column. Um, so you don't need to include a description of the holiday dates if you're just using them uh, for this example. So you see here, real world case, I have an employee, the project that they're going to be on, and maybe we want to look at things like the time that they're out, billing, cost, so we could have the start date and end date, but we need to calculate the working days. Now, the first thing I said to remember, the, the parameters in network days, start date, end date, um, a weekend value and holidays. Now, remember, it takes a table as the holidays. So all I've done here is just remove that holiday name column. And now we're ready to go. This will work, this holiday dates. So I'm not gonna, I don't think we need to have a calculated column here. We will just have a DAX measure. So um, we can just go ahead and really work through this, this example. Now I'm gonna use variables just to make it a bit more readable um, because we've got sort of four, four um, parameters or arguments here. So we've got the start date, which is just, we can use selected value and um, that function because it's gonna be at the right context. So the start date, and then we're just gonna assign the end date within our table to the variable end date. Now that's pretty simple. We need to use return with a variable to get our actual result. <clears throat> and then we'll, this is where we'll use um, network days. And again, our argument will be the variable start date from the column within our employee projects table um, as we, we um, assigned earlier. And we'll have end date, same thing, but just the end date from that table. Now we just need to specify the weekend, like I said, uh, third parameter here, we're just going to say one because we don't want Saturdays or Sundays to be the weekend. Remember in the documentation, you can view other codes if it's different at your company and just that public holidays column that we trim down in Power Query. And that's all we need. Um, fairly simple to calculate working days, much simpler than before I can go ahead. And what you can do is go ahead and verify this in the calendar. If you want a quick check, obviously there are multiple ways that you could verify this, but as long as um, everything's correct in model, this should work very simply. And as usual, if you like this content, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thank you.